everybody, and um, welcome to the Daiwa Anglo Japanese Foundation. Um, my name is Jason James, uh, I work for the Foundation. Um, this evening we have uh, an artist talk by Takahiro Ueda uh, on my right here, or left as you look at it. It's quite unusual for us to have a talk by an artist who's not showing in our own gallery, and in fact, we had a talk by our current uh, artist showing yesterday, so it's two artist talks in a row. Um, but uh, Takahiro Ueda is taking part in an exhibition uh, which opened yesterday uh, at the White Rainbow Gallery, which is a new gallery, it only uh, opened in October, um, that is specialising in contemporary Japanese art. Um, and so we're very happy to uh, help them to promote high quality contemporary Japanese art. Ueda. And I should also mention that uh, it's a joint show uh, with two other Japanese artists, Koichi Tabata, who I believe is here, um, uh, and Futo Akiyoshi, who isn't. Um, but anyway, Takahiro Ueda, uh, he is based in Berlin, where he's been uh, since 2011, and he's won a number of important awards, um, including awards, for instance, from the Agency for Cultural Affairs in Japan. So he's very much uh, recognized as representing Japan's uh, modern generation of contemporary artists. Mm -hmm. And I won't, you know, if, if you want more detail, it's it's on the blurb on our website, but I'll, I'll pass over to you. Thank you very much. So, good evening, everyone. So, I am very pleased to have this opportunity to share my work, and thank you uh, to the, all the team of the Dio Foundation for organizing this. So, <clears throat> yeah. in this work, I would like to start with the work I am currently exhibiting. So then I will talk about my previous collaborations and interdisciplinary practice. Yeah. So this is the clock based by the uh, time axis of natural force. I'm sure <coughs> you are all familiar with quartz clock. Um, almost all clocks and electric air, uh, equipment use quartz as an oscillator to control time accurately. So this quality of oscillation or vibration is triggered by the quartz whenever it receives an electronic current. The frequency of the vibration from the minerals could entirely depend on its transparency and its form. Uh, <coughs> This contrasts with the electronic equip equipment you know. In the case of a watch or a clock, it requires uh, 32,768 oscillations per second. So specific frequencies from, uh, for different instru instruments have come from the deep development of artificial force. <coughs> so this fundamental character of quartz releasing oscillation, oscillations called the piezo electric. Uh, <coughs> piezo electric does not change between natural and uh, artificial, artificial one. Uh, as I have mentioned, the frequency of the quartz is entirely defined by each sample's given shape and clarity and size. In other words, there is no common frequency which can be found within the different segments of natural quartz. Uh, and this also means that it's thick uh, ticks the clock at different paces. This work was developed as, a, as I questioned the value of time and space. We are unconsciously taking advantage of its arbitrary, arbitrary presence. So, <coughs> knowing the quality of the discipline, 
of its material, we can never know what sort of the historical event is attached to the substances, but we can appreciate what we overlook in every day. Yeah. <clears throat> so my greatest interest is how common sense is unconsciously accepted by others. So <clears throat> in the title here, nature, science, and landscape, are the keywords. What I meant behind these words are that nature refers to the whole universe. Science is one great form of human per uh, perception. Landscape is vision of what we can grasp through our eyes. This also can be extended to the hidden or background history attached to the object. I take the, the importance of questioning our existing preconception of this landscape, our prepurposed ideas without us noticing. Uh, <clears throat> In the case of the work in visible movement, it highlights the notice of time in which was designed it by our rationale. So this is something extremely familiar to us, but we take advantage of this without appreciating it. So this is a performance-based work origin originating in 2010. It is based on the NOAA, uh, NOAA means uh, National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. This weather satellite is operated by United States Department of Commerce. So please have a look at this.
and this satellite goes around the Earth, uh, around the Earth, above 800 km with the orbital rotation. It sends the weather data in real time. Of course, the weather changes, so the data of its transmitting forecast will never be the same. This actual data can be obtained at the fixed, fixed place for three times a day, but only for 15 minutes. This is the speed the satellite goes through above our sky and this performance uses this given limited condition. The satellite itself does not have a function to transfer an exact image of the weather, uh, weather from space. So it interprets it into sound information. What I do is restore the sound data into images through a particular algorithm. But, uh, <coughs> sorry. but the reality is that the analog sound always has noise when the analyzing processor receives its sound. My reaction to this matter of fact uh, was to reappropriate sorry reappropriate the and interpret the sound actively actively through sound performance. <coughs> what I am interested in here is the question of layer layers. With the presence of the performance equals to the presence of the satellite going through above the, above, above the sky, it creates the natural be behavior of participants to look up on the sky. You cannot see the actual satellite during the given 15 minutes but you are clearly notified of its presence. The dividing membrane of the atmosphere from the satellite and uh, exist existence through the act of receiving the radio wave. By doing so, I believe this work can reawaken our senses of the space as whole but also time. <coughs> this was developed through collaboration. Uh, the reason I take this approach is because uh, I would like to explore the world above our knowledge or past experience. On the left, it is the uh, sound of signaling that is already analyzed and transferred as an image. To the right, uh, the effect of the sound has been added. So this program was developed with my friend, who is sound artist. So the concept and basic technique was designed by myself and the systematic program was developed by him. Until this project, I also developed the electronic devices by myself, but I felt the limitation by holding on to what I know, <coughs> so that I felt I could not develop my concept or actual artwork further. To tell you the secret, my collaborator told me afterwards that uh, this project also brought him new territories of his knowledge for this artwork after all. So the reason of doing the collaborative practice is because <coughs> one, I would like to achieve my ideal quality or above my expectation to gain and present the new perspectives for myself and to the, to the audience. 
to working in this way it ultimately pushes the boundary further This is the binary record with the sound data from the satellite. The analog sound data will be accompanied by the application programmed by my collaborator. So you can visualize its sound by plugged into the computer to play the landscape of the sound. In a way, <coughs> This is like an uh, alternative image diary. On the right, uh, the data from the, the actual sound from the vinyl is the nature of the vinyl creates different speed on the center and peri periphery. I'm also fascinated by the difference caused by the digitalization to analog or vice versa. So <clears throat> this work was developed before I moved to Berlin. This was a special project which was partly co-organized organi by JAXA, Japan Aerospace Explorer, Exploration Agency in 2010. We have received the data from their research development, which included with confidential information. This was my very first attempt to use the satellite as part of my work. When <coughs> It receives the observation radio wave. The sound of the record will be distorted. The signaling sound was broken up by the high and low tones through the analog circuitry. The sound will be altered. The project was sponsored by Agency for Cultural Affairs and I particip participated as a guest artist. So surprisingly, some of the researchers had never heard an um, actual signaling sound before. Through this opportunity, I was inviting, invited to participate another curated exhibition in Tanegashima Space Center in Kagoshima and another collaborative project with, with JAXA. This is another installation that I made in 2010. 
and it was based on the particle accelerator mechanics. This is another piece in which explored my take on the landscape. Generally speaking, the particle accelerator is the device where physicists use electromagnetic field to propel changing particles. In order to do so, they bring the, these particles to high speeds, at which scientists resort to observe, observing the collision of nucleus. <coughs> Atom is the unit that indicates nature in my simplest explanation. The collisions occurred by the speed of the accelerator can simulate the energy of a black hole. As you might have heard some, of course the black hole is something much discussed yet nobody ever seen the actual one, so that I see this as an unknown landscape. So I took this as a particle accelerator and the device to produce the new landscape. The sound and moving image are played fast forward. It is roughly thousands of times faster than usual speed. It produced a <clears throat> non roaring sound within the image. It is hard to tell what you are witnessing. Please have a look. Artwork, I have collaborated with a senior engineer. He works for car manufacturing unit and I know him for a long time. Within the tube structure, there is a rail with a small truck carrying a projector and a set of stereo speakers with a speed of 14 km, roughly 20 miles per hour. <coughs> The intersection plan shows our calculation of the stability against the centrifugal speed, <coughs> friction, and weight of actual unit. Following numerous conversations, the structure became like this. Until the finalization, we also had a plan to put just speakers to assimilate the condition. At the end, the final piece released the sound of the speakers, but it also weighted the high volume of the distorted sound from the friction and the 
drugs moving. This unexpected reality brings up to another level. Closer to my intention to explore the notion of time. In my experience of working in the collaborative way, it provides the provided the multi layer character. I story provides the recording and immersion otherwise, but through this project, it provided the discovery. I managed to gain the nuance of how the time axis reproduced the actual condition of the physical space, and thus the exhibiting artwork could be extended to the multi-dimensional reality. To sum up, I <coughs> present my work in the field of art because it has quality. It has a quality to gar <coughs> garner the variety of the knowledge and perception to explore. I was never intended to be an artist. But it was just natural progression in order to achieve my idea realized. So, <coughs> in Renaissance, uh, the main observation was fo fo focused on the nature. It might be because the body of knowledge was not so subdivided to overview the germ. In other words, art was no matter the different genre of sculpture and painting or even possibly, possibly architecture. They <coughs> depicted time and changing nature of the world. This conscious, consciousness weighs highly in my work and this was the reason I explore my work through this field. Thank you ever so much for listening. <laughs>